Hello chess friends and welcome to your sort of chess channel and welcome to my hyper accelerated dragon Sicilian defense series so in this series we're covering a very nice and effective weapon while playing against e4 and today we're continuing with this uh, very very aggressive line again with the try uh, of white to go into the so-called Yugoslav attack so if you want to be familiar more, more with this uh, hyper accelerated dragon Sicilian defense series please watch the series from the beginning because uh, I've uh, made this uh, series uh, in one particular order so you should really follow this uh, this um, uh, analysis from uh, this introduction video then number one number two and number three and and so on so uh, today we're having this part 22 so we will have this very aggressive a4 line i'll show you what's all about so this a4 line of the hyper accelerated rank Sicilian defense has its ideas of course white has uh, several options here uh, white's idea is to stay flexible in the continuation of the game but if, uh, well, let's see now this uh, particular lines then I'm, I'm going to explain you what's all about and what are the ideas of whites and blacks in this type of position so as said in order to get a better understanding of this particular video please watch my introduction video then number one number two and so on in order to get a better understanding of this particular video so we're continuing now finally uh, with this hyper accelerated drag Sicilian defense it's been a while since I made the last video but uh, I have many things on my YouTube channel channel going on so here we are continuing with this very nice and aggressive opening for black so uh, let's see this uh, particular line so e4 uh, c5 as i said knight on f3 uh, g6 and now d4 uh, after c takes d4 knight takes on d4 as i said our main idea of the hyper accelerated drag sicilian defense i'm repeating myself a little bit is not to immediately push the pawn on d6 uh, here we are playing this knight on c6 and bishop on g7 and knight on f6 ideas without playing uh, further this d6 move because one of the main ideas of the hyper accelerated drag sicilian defense is to move d5 but as i said <coughs> i've explained this uh, particular lines much more in my previous videos today we're do doing a particular um, positional line by white so uh, bishop on g7 uh, knight on c3 knight on c6 bishop on e3 knight on f6 so here bishop on c4 uh castling and now bishop on b3 so this is now white's preparation to go into the so-called yugoslav attack in my previous videos uh, of the series i have uh, recommended you this move a5 immediately so uh what white can do here is to move a4 so this move a4 uh, has its own ideas i haven't explained this move so far in the series uh, so this is now a new line that we're uh, that we're preparing today this a4 move has several options so the first of all uh, white has blocked out the potential a4 move by black itself because uh, we with the move a4 we're deflecting one of these pieces either the bishop or the knight from the defense of this very nice central pawn here on on e4 uh, so in my previous lines i've explained you this move f3 then we're going again into this very very aggressive line with uh, a4 or immediately with the move d5 but this line i have explained as i mentioned so here today we're doing this uh, a4 move by white and you see now the uh, black's problems in this particular opening so here i'm recommending you to go into this d6 line uh trying preparing you really this knight on g4 idea this knight on g4 will be then attacking this uh, this bishop which is the key defender of this uh, uh, knight on d4 then we would have a perfect attack against this knight so one of the ideas of blacks of course is to uh, take to take out this dark square bishop because uh, white's idea is of course to play queen on d2 then uh, doing this uh, bishop on h6 idea trading off these bishops on the h file and then go h4 h5 and similar ideas and deliver checkmate through the h file so these are the main ideas of white but this is now really a problem because with the move uh, d6 we haven't played move d5 and as i recommended in my previous videos so now after uh, f3 here i recommend you to go into this line knight takes on d4 this is now a similar line like the moroxy bind if you have followed my moroxy bind setups more because after bishop takes on d4 now we have the move bishop on d7 and uh, we're preparing again this bishop on c6 idea then knight on d uh, knight on d7 d7 uh, and then trade off the stars for bishops but uh, if your opponent goes here 
uh, into this line with immediately queen on d2 this is now the problem uh, in which uh, white is already preparing a very nice uh, flexibility in the game because now white can decide if he's gonna castle here kingside or if he's gonna castle here queenside it's even possible to um, castle queenside here because uh, white has uh, created a perfect blockade because so far a potential b5 move by black is not possible because the black uh, the, uh, the square b5 is perfectly protected by this pawn on a4 and this knight on c3 so you see this is a very very tricky line of uh, whites uh, blocking out of course uh, here the queen side and uh, trying still this idea to h4 h5 in order to make this idea work just in order to open somehow the position in front of black's king because as i said uh, we have now this so-called opposite side attack of course black is uh, coordinating the attack on the queen side and white is coordinating the attack on the king side so that's why you have to be fast in these types of variations so that's why here my uh, one of my recommendations can be here to play the move immediately rook on b8 so this game uh, that i wanted to show you today, today it was one of my games that i've played a couple of weeks ago and here with the move rook on b8 uh, we are preparing immediately the move um, b5 in the continuation my opponent tried h4 i played h5 uh, one of the ideas of this opposite uh, side attack games uh, can be first to block out your opponent's uh, possibility to attack and here uh, white castle and i played simply b5 now i have uh, already attacked uh, here uh, white's position because he has a weakened pawn structure as i said he has moved already this a4 uh, so that's why here an immediate pawn breakthrough has to be played because we want to be faster on our side where we are attacking so here uh, after bishop uh, a takes b5 we have a bishop takes on b5 a knight takes on b5 and now rook takes on b5 uh, you see white is staying with the bishop pair um, on the board in an open game so still i have some troubles here in the position but again i can make something happen here with the potential a4 move or a3 just in order to open the position in front of white's king so bishop on c3 was played by my opponent and now rook on uh, pardon me queen on a8 with the preparation to of course play the move a4 and then after that a3 this would be a perfect uh continuation for me so that's why my opponent blocked the position with the move bishop on a4 and now i simply continue with rook on c5 and now g4 still a common idea uh, to somehow just even to sacrifice pawns just in order to open to the position but now i played rook on c8 after the move uh, g takes h5 uh, i played simply rook takes on c3 a positional sacrifice of course you have to take with the b pawn but now I have accomplished uh, a very weak pawn structure in front of uh, White's king. And still I have this very powerful uh, dark square bishop. And in the next move, of course, I took here knight on h5, creating first of all, which is also an important thing, a very nice blocking system. Now this pawn uh, on h4 uh, cannot move further. And uh, of course, play here on h5, h5 move would be very dangerous for me because then the g file would be uh, opened and this f4 or f5 idea uh, in order to maybe crack the position uh, in these types of uh, variations is a little bit too slow because you see i'm already attacking here the pawn on c3 and i have already a perfect attack with with my bishop and the rook so uh, queen on d5 of course i'm not too interested to, to trade off the queens now with uh, down the exchange because uh, i want to stay with the um, queens on the board of course exploiting all also this weaknesses in the position position queen on uh, a7 was played and now bishop on b3 my opponent is of course trying to checkmate me here on f7 that's why first uh, queen on uh, e3 uh, with the check we have uh, queen on d2 but now i stayed simply here queen on c5 getting use of now this other dark square you see i'm trying to sneak in through the dark squares here because uh, white has of course this dark square problems that's why i took out this uh, bishop with the rook sacrifice on c3 rook from a to g1 was played and now you see there's also some there are some tactical threats of course rook takes on g6 because i cannot take uh, because the bishop is uh, pinning my king here on on g so queen on a3 with the check we have um, king on b1 but now bishop on c3 we have rook on g6 but it's not a problem i played simply knight on g7 we have queen on c3 it seems that uh, i'm losing material here because uh, here i can of course take the the queen on c3 but now my opponent tried uh, rook on 
b1 and he's trying to checkmate me here on on the eight rank or with his two rooks but now i simply took out the rook uh rook takes on b3 uh, we have c takes b3 and now after queen takes on b3 here i finally took the rook after rook takes on g6 queen on f3 and in this position my opponent resigned so this is now as i said the critical moment of the game here after the move uh, uh, a5 if your opponent tries uh, here the a4 move you have to consider the option that uh, white is still going in this Yugoslav attack and this Yugoslav attack I have also explained much more in my previous videos so as I said these videos you have to uh, watch combined you cannot just um, watch this video and have a good understanding of the hyper accelerated ranked Sicilian defense so that's why this A4 move preparation is very very tricky you see white uh, has still sort of a blocking system on the queen side and he still can try his main idea queen on d2 f3 h4 h5 so mm, this wasn't of course a top grandmaster uh, game i wanted to show you also now a very nice game in this uh, position it was a uh, game uh, it was a game played by gregory uh, shashade against uh, um, pardon me here uh, uh, Alexander Wojtkiewicz. Uh, Alexander Wojtkiewicz is a very famous player in, in the Dragon Sicilian. I have seen now many many uh, games of him in these types of lines. And here you see uh, again we have this problem. A4 was played in the continuation. Wojtkiewicz also played the move D6. Here we have F3 and now Knight takes on D4. Again a similar idea like the Moroxy bind as I said. Uh, Queen on, uh, Bishop takes on D4 and now Bishop on D7. Queen on d2 and here Wojtkiewicz played on a different uh, idea he played the move bishop on c6 it's also a very nice idea because uh, this bishop on c6 idea is sort of a positional idea we're waiting this knight to jump um, here on d5 and then take it out because uh, then uh, white is continuing the game well it's I don't want to say it's a bad bishop but most of the spawns are on light squares and if we are continuing uh, from white's perspective the game with the light square bishop there could be some positional problems if we manage to trade off this dark square bishops so in the continuation castling was played by white simply uh, trying this h4 h5 attack in the game knight on d7 was played by Wojtkiewicz trading off as i said the main idea is to trade off this bishops now after bishop on g7 king takes on g7 and now bishop on c4 preventing still this uh this idea of white to, uh, of blacks to play b5 in order to crack open the position somehow so in the continuation bishop on c4 was played and now queen on b6 this is a very important move we would love uh, white to play something like queen on d4 after queen takes on d4 and rook takes on d4 now the position is simplified as i said we can cement our knight here on c5 and if something like knight in d5 happens then we can of course take and after bishop on uh, d5 okay we have maybe a weak pawn but we can improve that uh, by rook on c c8 and then after it uh, b6 getting all of these pawns all out of this like squares because then this like for bishop would be simply useful still with the ideas to play also some rook on d8 possibilities and then after that kick away maybe the bishop and creating this so-called Boleslavsky wall but I've explained this also I'm not uh, I don't want to spread things here I just wanted to realize that here uh, white after the move h4 has a uh, really really a dangerous attack because as I said the idea is now to play h5 uh, and after that eight takes g6 and then queen on h6 is very dangerous so that's why Wojtkiewicz played a very nice positional idea f6 because after h5 we can now simply pass through and we have now this uh, g5 defended in the continuation knight on d5 was played as i said that's why uh, Wojtkiewicz played this idea bishop on c6 waiting this knight to jump in on d5 bishop takes on d5 we have queen on d5 and now uh, rook on c8 and you see now uh, we have a little bit like square problems here these are the weak square in our position but we can always cover this light squares with this uh, potential knight on c5 then this knight on c5 is a very nice outpost and uh, you see when we place our knight on a dark square you see our opponent uh, hasn't anymore the dark square bishop and it would be very hard to kick away uh, this knight from c5 or we have also the possibility to play maybe knight on e5 so from a positional point of view um, there's uh, maybe a slight advantage here for black because we have still possibilities to jump on weak squares here with our knight meanwhile as i said we got out of this uh, with our pawns out of this light squares and that's why 
uh, here um, I think black has a slight advantage so queen on e6 attacking the knight but not a problem queen on d8 simply retreating uh, with this uh, queen we have bishop on uh, b5 and now knight on e5 uh, very nice move now we have cemented our knight and here uh, rook on f1 was played and now rook on c7 preparing also maybe queen on c8 if we trade off the queens uh, then it would be a very nice position here for for black because the queen is a little bit tricky here uh, on the square e6 has some attacking possibilities that's why here white tried g3 he tried here really to kick away this very nice knight that's outposted so that's why here queen on c8 as i said we want to get rid of the queens now there's only basically one square uh, on which white can go in order to prevent this uh, trading of uh, queen so that's why queen on b3 if we try queen on d5 then again rook on c5 then have again to retreat on b3 and uh, that's why here queen on b3 was played and now queen on uh, h3 very interesting idea because here after uh, the rook on g1 here we have queen on h5 and f4 was played by by white but now uh, alexander Vojtkovic finds a very nice idea uh, queen on f3 forcing now white to trade off the queens because if you take the knight then of course uh, queen takes on b3 and you cannot take this uh, queen because of this very annoying pin by the rook on the c file so in this position believe me or not uh, white simply resigned because uh, let's see a possible continuation after queen takes on f3 uh, knight takes on f3 it's really not a problem after ma maybe rook on c8 we can also try to cement our knight or, or similar ideas so it's uh, basically not a problem we can also try knight on a2 and then escape with our knight maybe again trying an outpost some somehow to again fix the knight on a dark square which cannot be attacked of course by the slight square bishop so as i said in this position after uh queen on f3 uh, white simply resigned so okay i hope you realize these ideas this is uh, the main main line here as i said after the move let's go back after the move a4 and a5 uh, be careful uh, as i said white still can go into this, this yugoslav attack with f3 h4 h5 and similar ideas with the move queen on d2 so don't think uh, if your opponent has played this move a4 uh, and has weakened already the queen side that he's not going to may go maybe here on the uh, uh, castle and queen side so be prepared he can still do that but you have to be aggressive you have to play very aggressive also on, on his uh, side here you have to attack uh, with potential b5 moves or go into a positional game like alexander Vojtkovic did here and try to counter play on, on his very weak dark square so okay i hope you realize these ideas uh, we, were, we are continuing with this uh, very nice and effective weapon while playing against e4 meanwhile you can watch my other uh, hyper accelerated ranks and civilian videos from the beginning from the introduction video and so on and you can also watch my king's indian and nimzo indian uh, defense series in which i show you a very nice and effective weapon while playing against d4 so if you have troubles while playing against d4 check it out and you can also subscribe to my channel if you like this content thanks you for watching guys and just the best of course